the fortunes of a Swiss airport town bordering Germany are connected with Noida. While Jewar has been under discussion for years, the Uttar Pradesh government might now be more than ready to expedite the Noida airport project, especially with state elections round the corner. But the Zurich Airport Authority seems to be in a greater hurry than the Yogi government to get Noida Airport up and running. Interesting, isn't it? We'll dwell into that. But first, let's look into the details of the upcoming airport. The Greenfield Airport, spread over 1,334 hectares, is being developed in a public-private partnership between the Uttar Pradesh government and Zurich Airport, which outbid Adani Enterprises and the GMR Group to win the project. Zurich Airport is investing 5,700 crore rupees for Phase 1 and has tied up 3,725 crore rupees in debt from the State Bank of India. Airport Phase 1 project cost 8,916 crore rupees. The Uttar Pradesh government is spending 4,326 crore rupees on land acquisition, rehabilitation and settlement. We have more details about the facilities that the new airport will have. The airport will have two terminal complexes. In the first phase, scheduled to open by 2024, the airport is expected to handle 12 million passengers annually with one runway and 25 aircraft stands. In the second phase, Terminal 1 will generate an additional capacity of 18 million passengers. By 2050, the airport will handle 70 million passengers annually. But with Delhi's Indira Gandhi International Airport not having reached saturation in capacity, will the Jewar Airport be able to generate adequate passenger demand? Christoph Schnellmann of Zurich Airport, who is CEO of Delhi Noida International Airport, believes so. In an interview with Business Standard, Schnellmann said, passenger traffic will triple in the next 40 years. Will Jewar Airport be Asia's largest? It is expected to have two runways in the first phase. By the end of all six phases of construction, the Jewar Airport will have six runways. Until now, Delhi's IGI Airport is India's busiest, with three terminals seeing passenger traffic of 67.3 million in FY20, before the pandemic sent the aviation industry into a dizzy. As for the annual passenger capacity, in 2019, seven Asian airports were handing over 70 million passengers. A PwC study estimates that in its first year of operation, the Jewar Airport will see a footfall of 5 million passengers. This will increase to 21 million by 2030-31, to 54 million by 2039-40, and 91 million by 2048-49. Jewar Airport will be able to handle 70 million passengers only by 2050, once all its phases of construction are completed. So claims about it being Asia's largest airport seem a bit premature, especially considering that existing airports, including Delhi's IGI Airport, are also being continuously expanded. Now let's understand how Switzerland's capital Zurich's fortunes are tied with the Noida International Airport. Zurich Airport lies just 15 miles from the German border and Germany has imposed restrictions on the use of its airspace between 10 p.m. and 6 a.m. on weekdays and 8 p.m. and 9 a.m. on weekends. There are also height restrictions on descending aircraft which make landing maneuvers at Zurich a tricky affair during these hours. No-fly hours have reduced Zurich's handling capacity from 39 landings an hour to 20 to 28 landings, thereby increasing the airport operation costs. In India too, the airport has significant political appeal ahead of next year's assembly elections in Uttar Pradesh. The airport will have multi-model connectivity owing to its proximity to the Greater Noida Agra Yamuna Expressway and the Eastern Peripheral Expressway. 
and will be linked with the Delhi Mumbai Expressway at Ballabgarh, the Kurja Jewar NH91, and the dedicated Freed Corridor. This will ensure the Jewar Airport ties in with the center's ambitious Gati Shakti master plan. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.